Another month down and GameRanks has done the sorting through so you know what to play. I'm Falcon and today we have the 10 best new iOS and Android games of November 2016. As always, a quick note, we'll do the 10 best free iOS and Android games on a later date. As usual, here's the 10 best paid. Number 10 is F1 2016 by Codemasters. This is a really pretty F1 game that has a bit of a simulator feel to it, but plays a little bit more like how you'd expect a mobile arcade racer game to play. The controls are not loose but not tight and I'm sure there are going to be at least a few people out there that prefer controls exactly like this game to a lot of other racing games and it has a lot of really good connectivity options with new weekly challenges. It's $9.99, but this is the kind of game that would get bogged down horrifically by freemium crap. I will say it requires a bit of power from your phone, and if you're dealing with an underpowered, maybe mid-range model, you might have some issues. When you want a solid, very pretty racing game for your mobile platform, I think this is the way to go from November. Number 9, Batman the Telltale Series Episode 4. It's an episode that manages to shoehorn the Joker in without making me hate it. It's interesting to see a completely new take on the Joker as well, because to be completely honest, where Heath Ledger's Joker got a lot of attention, Mark Hamill's Joker has now pretty much taken all of that attention. Nothing against his Joker, it's actually phenomenal. He is pretty much the ultimate Joker. That being said, points for trying. This episode essentially functions to ratchet up the tension that's going on in Batman, and essentially just sort of destabilize Bruce throughout the course of the story until the very end where there is a very big decision to make. And that's the spoiler-free version. If I go further, we kind of start ruining things. It's worth it, I enjoyed it a lot, and I'm always happy to see the Joker. Number eight is Eisenhorn Xenos, which is essentially an action RPG that plays out in the Warhammer 40k universe. It's an adaption of the first novel in a trilogy, and if you've got a high-end and or new phone, this is one of the better action games you're going to play on it. That being said, it is graphically intensive, and I would say not even a high mid-range phone is going to handle it. It's a very good-looking game. Maybe not current-gen console quality graphics, but previous-gen, I would say, it definitely does compare to. Number 7 is Football Manager Mobile 2017, which Sega does a great job revamping the user interface to make it much more friendly this time around. And being this isn't a particularly graphically intensive app, having a good user interface is definitely a big must. If you're interested in the management style of gameplay football game, this is probably going to be the absolute most in-depth and enjoyable version of that type of gameplay. Certainly there are flashier ones, but it's clear that Sega takes feedback back very seriously and has worked very hard creating a very good version of this game. Number six is Demon's Rise 2, which is a game that massively benefited from the fact that Demon's Rise 1 was not that well reviewed. There were actually quite a few issues with the game itself, but the developer took it upon itself to really work on making the best strategy RPG they could out of it. They took a lot of feedback on board through a lot of reviews and continually updated the game in order to make it more like what it should have been, and it worked out. And it also built the base of Demon's Rise 2, Lords of Chaos. This is perhaps the best possible outcome in one of these game was released in unfinished state scenarios where the sequel comes out with all the benefit. It's a great strategy game, completely new cast, basically new story, not that different from the original's gameplay after all the tinkering, meaning it's a great game. So if you like strategy RPGs, this is definitely one to play. Number five is Yon Kai's Triangle, which is a really, really pretty puzzle game. It seems like in the puzzle genre, people basically try to create the absolute prettiest representation of a unique mechanic they possibly can, and that's essentially the game. And this is not different from that formula. However, when somebody hits it with a good mechanic, and let's be completely straight here, this game does, it's very worth it. It revolves around triangles and matching the three points of the triangle to a smaller triangle through rotation and sliding. And if you're confused about what that means, like, it's literally exactly what I just said. There's nothing else to it. It doesn't have a high learning curve. It can get a little difficult, but not too much. And it's really satisfying and visually gorgeous. Number four, Neon Chrome is a top-down bullet hell shooter that operates on a double stick mechanic and does support various controllers. This game does a great job of taking exactly what I just said 
putting a great color scheme on it, procedurally generating levels, giving you infinite replayability, and running very smooth. I mean, this is a crystal clear, great looking game, especially on the iPhone 7. I'm gonna say this, I can't get enough of the neon color scheme from the 80s, the sort of apocalyptic version of that. And the more people that do it, the more I like it, which is weird because normally I become cynical about stuff like that, but for whatever reason, I haven't. Maybe it's just that people who like those colors are also sometimes people who make really good video games. Neon Chrome is literally everything, everything I could ask for out of what this kind of game is. I love it. It's seriously such a great game. Number three, Rome Total War, which has been ported to the iPad. And let's just go ahead and say it, Rome Total War is a classic strategy game. And let me say something, this is probably one of the smoothest RTS ports to a touchscreen that I've played. They essentially managed to nail everything about it without dumbing it down. And while there is, I'm gonna say, a tiny bit of slowdown when you can get a lot of you know people and units on screen, but it's really not a big deal. It's not that bad, especially on the newer, more powerful iPads. And like, it's Rome Total War. What what else do you want me to say? Number two is Party Hard Go, which is, I mean, basically Party Hard. Essentially, the mechanics are kind of a sort of stealth tactical strategy game where you murder people at parties because you can't stay in parties. Yes, you are the party pooper that takes it too far, and it's a great game. Like, seriously, it's boring borderline dumb in concept, but in a brilliant way. When people come up with things that are this dumb and execute them this well, it's like, all right, why aren't more people doing that? It's kind of like EDM Hitman without the guise of a real story. Like it's a B-movie ridiculous story. It's great. And finally, number one, SteamWorld Heist, which doesn't look like it, but is gonna remind you a little bit of Worms when you play it in the best possible way. You see, it's a turn-based strategy that also incorporates 2D gun aiming mechanics. So it's kind of a step beyond turn-based strategy and it's not exactly real time. It really does feel a lot like like worms at times, but again, it's a little more involved. It has absolutely gorgeous, seriously living up to the potential of pixel art style graphics, and a lot of playtime with procedurally generated levels that really do come off very well. They're not just garbage levels that the computer throws at you because it thought of them. And it really does feel like a skill-based game where a good eye is favored over a quick movement. Bonus? Soundtrack by Steam Powered Giraffe. Good stuff. Which iOS and Android game did you like the best this November? Let's hear about that in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please click like. Let me know if you play any of these, by the way. If you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every day of the week, and we thank you very much for watching this one. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at FalconTheHero, and we'll see you next time right here on GameRanks.